your girl did some damage. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I picked up from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Now, y'all saw my video where I talked about all the things that I wanted. I didn't get all the things that I wanted. I kinda tried to reel it back in a little bit, but there were some other items that I saw on sale that I picked up, and this looks like a lot more now that it's all together, as opposed to when I was just buying like this one thing one day and this one day. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video so you guys can see what I picked up. But first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. And if you guys like watching hauls, hit the like button, let me know. Let's get started. These are not gonna be in any particular order because there's a lot of stuff in this box and I'm not trying to sort it. I want this to go fast so I don't keep you guys here forever. So one of the first things that I picked up was the Hangover 3-in-1 Refreshing Primer and Setting Spray. Now this, I did have a friend gift me this to try before I bought it and I liked it. So I was just like, you might as well get it while it's on sale. I do like the mister on it and I'll just show you guys real quick. We're not doing this with everything. It's a very fine mist. It smells good. I didn't set my face earlier when I did my makeup. So I just wanted something that would be more refreshing and hydrating as opposed to all of the mattifying hairspray type setting sprays that I already have. The next thing that I picked up, I did get two of these. These are the First Aid Beauty Face Cleansers. You guys know I said that I love this. It is really good for all skin types, but it doesn't leave that tight feeling like your skin is stripped of all its oils after you use it to wash your face. I am on my last bottle, so I bought a new one and a backup. The next thing that I picked up is this REP, which was one of the sale items, not in the 21 Days of Beauty. Real Elemental Practice, Nutri Nature Ultra All Night Moisture and Relief Mask. We all know I've been talking about how dry my skin has been, so I thought I would pick this up just to get something that is a nighttime mask to help with the dryness that I'm experiencing when I first wake up in the morning. So this will be, oh, I was about to say, why is this all in Japanese, Chinese? I have no idea. Everything on the back is in another language. So I was about to say, um, it, does, <laughs> it is English on the side, but basically uses your final step of your skincare routine at night, smooth a generous amount of the product over your entire face and leave overnight. Rinse face with water and cleanser in the morning. So I'll keep y'all posted on how this works. The next thing that I picked up is this Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. You are gonna see a theme for this haul. It is a lot of hydrating products. Now, I did talk to a friend who told me that once you're done with Accutane and you're off, that your skin kind of goes back to normal. So I'm not buying any more hydrating stuff just in case that happens, but for the next six months at least, this will be my skincare routine. This says it deep cleanses and it soothes. I don't think I've ever had anything from this brand, so I just wanted to try it out, but this is what the packaging looks like. I will let you guys know how it works. I did pick up two of the Becca primers. I picked up the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer, and then I also picked up the First light priming filter i've never tried either one of these and i didn't i couldn't make up my mind basically so that's why i got both of them they both say they illuminate one says hydrating the other one says awakening so i don't know which one i'm gonna like better i may keep them both i may take one back we'll see but you'll see that in a first impression once I actually use them. I also picked up this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray. It says it has hyaluronic acid and coconut white water, and it helps to keep your makeup for 16 plus hours. 
I think I heard somebody talk about this and they say that they didn't like it. So that kind of makes me nervous. But I didn't pay full price for it at least. So I'm happy about that. Um, I guess I'll just have to see how it goes. But I've never tried this. Always love buying setting sprays. I also picked up this Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream Moisturizing and Protect. So another Peach and Lily product. I know Korean skincare products are supposed to be really, really good. This comes with a little spatula. Um, so this was a good way for me to be able to try out some of their stuff without spinning an arm and a leg on it. Not bad. It's green. Doesn't smell bad. So we'll see what that is about. This item, I've actually bought this before and then I brought it back because the shade was horrible and I got a different shade. This is the Smith & Colt Veil Threat Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. Before I think I bought like 370 neutral, I brought it back and got 430 neutral. This is a better shade match for me. It was still on sale for $10. The concealer sucks. Don't buy that. But I think the foundation was going to be okay. But I need to try it soon because if it sucks, I'm going to bring that back too. I also decided to pick up this Tula Skincare Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. Now I thought that I had a sample of this one already, but it's not the same thing. The sample that I have is their Moisturizing and Blurring Primer, which I used filming this look and I like it so far. I mean, I've only had this on for about an hour, maybe two. But this says smoothing and primer gel. So it grips makeup like a pro, brightens skins without clogging pores. Y'all know how I like my gripping primer. So that was the main reason why I picked this one up. I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Now, I originally picked up the shade 440C. Did not match me at all. So brought it back and I got the shade 470C. It's weird because like, I think 480C was actually lighter than 470C and 470 was a little more neutral than 460. Like you really have to go in the store and see what these look like. But this is the shade that I picked up. Nice neutral color, not too golden. So I, actually was able to get them to help me try this in the store and this was much better. On the Too Faced day, I also picked up this Hangover RX primer, their replenishing primer. I've had a small sample of this before, but I've never had a full size and it was on sale. So y'all know how that goes. I wanted to try it. How does this work? Oh, it has a pump. Okay, that's cool. I was trying to twist off the top. So I've heard good things about this and I think it'll be good on days when I'm really dry to use this almost like my moisturizer and then just put like my Tarte smoothing primer in the areas where I need to smooth out my pores. So happy to try that one. Now, this was not on sale, on the sale. But I got a coupon for $10 off of $40 on Prestige. And, you know, normally they just do like you get coupons off of more of the drugstore stuff, not the high end. Well, this was off a of high end. So I have been wanting this foundation forever. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I didn't buy it because when I first tried it, of course I was oily. So I felt like it didn't last. And then also, I think I remember feeling like it kind of broke me out. I'm not sure. I hope not, but I just wanted to try it again to see how it wears on my skin now. So I picked up the shade Medium Dark 3.3 Caracas. And I know this is a good shade for me, so glad I can finally wear it. Next thing that I picked up is this Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer. Told you guys I was going to get this. It says it has vitamins B, C, and E for a healthy glow. I'm curious what the texture is on this one because I did not try it. Okay, it has a pump, comes in a little bottle like their foundation does.
Smells like orange, very citrusy. I don't know that I notice any vitamin glow, but it has a slightly tacky feel to it. So y'all know I love that, but we'll see how this wears and how it helps to keep your makeup on. It says apply, wear it alone or apply one to two pumps before makeup for a hydrated, healthy glow. We'll see. I did on the Women Founders Day, I said I was going to pick up the Uoma Beauty Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. It says soft matte and hydrating. We discussed this already. I picked up the shade Brown Sugar T1N and this comes out so watery. I don't know if it's just because I need to shake it more, but like this is literally running down my hand, but I think I just need to shake it more, but I know you're not supposed to match on the cut on your hand, but if it matches my hand, usually matches my chest and that's what I'm looking for. So I'm excited to wear this because I've heard great reviews about it. And of course, supporting a black owned brand, definitely wanted to get it. All right, the next product that I picked up, y'all let me tell you a story right fast. <laughs> I was not that impressed with the items that they had for the sale this year. And I was even talking to one of the associates about it when I checked out. But one thing I was really excited to see was these Cover FX monochromatic blush duos. I told y'all how mad I was that I wasn't able to get them in the previous years. I set my alarm for midnight and woke up, already had them in my cart, checked out, and then went back to bed. I was not playing any games this year. So I picked up two of them. I picked up Spiced Cinnamon and Warm Honey. This is Spiced Cinnamon. Y'all know that's my kind of shade. And then I also picked up Warm Honey, which looks like this. This one's a little light. I'm going to have to see to make sure that this actually shows up on me let me see and i want to swatch it it's so pretty yeah no that no <laughs> you're gonna go back that blush is way too light i think i was just looking at the highlighter because of how pretty it is but that blush that's that's not for us that kind of sucks i'm not keeping it just for the highlighter Spice Cinnamon I knew was going to be okay, but I also knew that the highlighter was going to be dark. So this is Spice Cinnamon here on the outside, and then that's the highlighter there. So we'll make it work, but Warm Honey is going back to the store. I think they're like phasing cover FX out of stores or something, because I feel like you can't find the stuff in store anymore. So it sucks because I'm not going to be able to exchange it for a different color. They did have a darker one, but I don't need two. So I'm going to keep Spice Cinnamon and that'll be it. Making progress. The next thing that I got was this Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I got mine in the shade 8. When I first looked at it, I thought it was going to be too light because this is extremely light. But when I swatched it, I actually bought eight and seven and seven is way too bright and nine I didn't feel like was bright enough and I didn't like the undertone. So I know I can make this work and I'm excited to try it because I think this formula is going to be nice. One of the perks that they had on one of the sale days, I don't know if it was if you bought a certain amount or if you something with Becca, but they gave you this Hydrolyte Plumping Lip Balm for free. And you got to pick the shade too. I love the perks with Ulta. Sephora needs to get it together and take notes. I, of course, was like, yeah, I want this. So it's basically just like a lip balm, but it's in this pretty nude color. You can't even really see that on my hand, but it's just a little slight wash of color. So it feels really hydrating which we all know I need. So if I can get it for free and try it, absolutely. The next thing that I picked up, I told you guys I love their hand soaps. So I did pick up 
three of those. They are normally $6. They were on sale for three. I, I like the mint scents. So I got rosemary mint, eucalyptus mint, and lavender mint. So use these in my bathrooms. All right, another item that I picked up is this It Cosmetics Dual Ended Flawless Complexion Brush. It is a multitasking coverage brush. There is a, basically it's a face brush and a concealer brush. And y'all know how I like to use brushes for my concealer. So I thought this would be a good time to try it out. So it has a buffing brush at the top and then this little brush at the bottom. So decided to get that. Their brushes are really expensive. So of course, if I can get it on sale, y'all know the drill. I also picked up this Lorac Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation. I got that $10 off coupon. I got one in the mail and I got one in my email. So I bought the NARS one with one coupon and then bought this one with the other coupon. I do know that this is no longer in stores either. So I can't bring it back. The shade is light for me a little bit, not bad. It just looks very gold yellow. Y'all know that is not my tea, but we'll have to see. Probably just end up mixing it with something else or see how it oxidizes. Or I might bring it back. I don't know. I'm disappointed because I'm at the point where I'm just like, I'm frustrated with trying to shop online because foundations are just way too hard to pick and they don't give you any options. Sephora is getting a little better with letting you try stuff on in the store and how they do it. So I appreciate that. But Ulta was already stingy with their samples and letting you try stuff on and it's just even worse now. So only a few more items left. Um, I picked up this Dermalogica Calm Water Gel Soothing Lightweight Moisturizer. Says Ultra Calming, Hydrates Dry Sensitive Skin. Yes, moisturizers. And because I bought a Dermalogica product, they also had this free gift with purchase. And it's a Dermalogica bag that came with three little products. It has this Skin Perfect Primer, SPF 30. It has this special cleansing gel. And... Sound Sleep Cocoon Transformative Gel Night Cream. So I love gifts with purchases. And this bag is cute. I could put some stuff in there. A little overnight bag. It says Dermalogical on it. I also picked up this No More Cracked Lips Mamond Lip Sleep Ma Lip Sleeping Mask. And it says Flower Plum Blossom. Pamper your pout. I am just like buying every lip balm that says it will soothe dry lips that I see. I like the First Aid Beauty one and of course I like the Laneige one. I found a couple other ones in the drugstore that I don't really care for. Um, but that's what this is what this one looks like. I wonder if this is kind of like... Uh, it's a little balmy. It's not like... It's not as thick as the Laneige one. Doesn't really have a smell. So we'll see how well this one works. Another gift with purchase that I got is this Kiehl's three piece set. And it is a deep cleansing foaming face wash, the Calendula. So it has that. And then it has the Calendula herbal extract toner. This says normal to oily skin. So this will have to sit and wait because I'm not using it right now. And then it has this powerful strength line reducing concentrate. Use it on them bad boys right there. Oh, it doesn't say just for eyes. I don't know, but we'll try it out. I did decide to pick up the Clinique liquid liners. Uh, Y'all know I love the black one. I use that in most of my videos, even though I have a ton of other ones. I just feel like it's easy. I like the way the liquid comes out. So I bought a backup of the black, but I'm pretty sure I already have a backup. We're not going to talk about that. And then I decided to get the brown one. I feel like every brown liner that I've tried to get is like, it's too light brown. Like I need something that's still going to show when I draw my wing, but it's not black. So 
Yeah, you're going to go back. See, this is exactly what I mean. Like, you can barely see that. You can't see that at all. This is the problem that I run into when I'm trying to buy a brown liner. So, unfortunately, that one's going back to the store. Keeping the black. Love the black. And then the last thing I got is this Ulta Beauty Buffing Concealer Brush. I just wanted to try this because I like brushes from my under eye concealer and I just I don't think I have any other Ulta brushes so this one was on sale this is what it looks like it's kind of pinched a little bit the ferrule's a little pinched and then it's just a flat brush so yeah it'll get used well that's it for the haul guys that's everything in the box there wasn't a lot that I was impressed with for this sale other than my cover FX blushes um but yeah so just mostly skincare stuff and a couple primers just to try to get some stuff to help combat with this dry skin if you guys enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and again don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you know every time i upload comment let me know what you guys picked up if you picked up anything and i'll see you in the next video bye